Truffle World Sports Show here with Eric Ostrowski. Picked up from Rutgers right to Sky Blue. Not too far removed for you. <laughs> um, it's awesome um, just to be able to play at Rutgers for four years and then um, advance my game to the professional level and be able to play on that same field. Um, it's amazing. I can't thank Sky Blue the, and the whole organization enough for picking me up. What's been your perception of this women's league? We've seen it come and go, and especially that you're at Rutgers, you, you've got this team that plays right in your backyard. Right. Um, like you said, it's, it's come and it's go, but right now it looks like a staple and it's going to stay. Um, it looks pretty permanent. Um, and to be able to get picked up, like you said, basically in my backyard and not even have to move too much at all, um, it's amazing. What's this whole draft and day been like walking into such a, an elaborate room that has grown? It, it, the Women's League last couple years had really small rooms, but to see this, this room with fans and people cheering, what's that experience been like for you? Um, amazing. Uh, just walking in and seeing all the banners and all the teams laid out. Um, it's, it's something I, I've dreamed of since I was little, and to walk into that and see that it's actually happening, um, it's awesome. It's pretty neat. These fans know who you are. You, you get cheers in your draft. That, that The women's game's grown to a level where – people know who you are and you right. might not even know who they are. Right. Um, and like you said, it's just just how it keeps growing and there's more fan bases. Um, the word's getting out there more just for the league in general and I think that's something that's going to continue growing throughout the years. Very successful year at Rutgers. What has that success done for you, moving you forward into your professional career? Um, I think it's just built me as a player in general, um, technically, tactically, all over the field, um, but as a person, um, more important. Um, Rutgers has taught me so much, uh, my head coach, my assistant coach, the whole staff in general, and just to be able to bring that to Sky Blue, it's very exciting. Some things about your game or some things we might not know about you, like personally, that drive you and, and some of your, your positives towards the game. Um, I think I, on the ball I just have a lot of composure. Um, I'm always, I feel really comfortable on it, whether I have pressure on me or not. Um, I think that's one of my biggest things. Um, and I just feel comfortable winning the air game, stuff like that. Um, Obviously, we can always work on it, and I'm going to continue to work on it throughout my uh, professional career now, but I'm just excited to get started. Is that sunk in yet? Hey, I'm a professional soccer player. I think that's the biggest thing that's, like, hitting me now. Like like I said before, I've been waiting for this day for so long, and it's finally here. I'm not just a collegiate player anymore, but I'm a professional soccer player, so it's awesome. Yeah, you're going to have the paparazzi following you around. Suddenly, you're going to find friends you didn't know you had. <laughs> um, I mean, I support from all over the place, and I can't thank everybody enough. Well, thank you for joining us, Erica, and best of luck at Sky Blue this season. Thank you.